We are back! Day 59, Mr. Prepper. What's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing great today. Hope you're excited for another two-hour-long episode of Mr. Prepper. We're getting back, leaving off, uh, picking up where we left off in the last episode. I probably should load these things before I... I like the start screen, though. Anyways, whoopsie, water has been cut off. No big deal. We're not really using that water anymore. Okay. I know I had a checklist of things to do, and now I have forgotten said checklist. You know what? Oh, yeah, we were building um, a hydroponics lab. What We needed more power, though. So why don't we get straight to this and finish digging. We're not hungry yet, but we're going to be. Stock up on that dirt, and with all this dirt that we were stockpiling, we're able to um, get extra planters. What do you want, Kate? What does Kate want from us? I don't really care if she walks away. Yep, she's walking away. All right. It's time to build some more power generators. Where is the power generator? Okay, steam generator. Uh, uses a lot of metal. We're we'll probably... We'll just start... We'll start off with one. I know the power went out as soon as we put a light down there, but, uh... One should be enough for now. I also wouldn't mind exploring the forest and seeing... Oh. It showed green there for a sec. You see that? I think that's actually in the doorway. Yeah, we can't pass through now. All right, we're gonna have to put it on the other side. I just trying to make efficiency of the space that we have. You know what? Pause and think. It would be nice to expand this into our, yeah, additional water tanks and seeds. Like we could even move these over here, put more planters in over here. We could move this and do some major shuffling. The only problem is we'd have to go down here. Uh, the reason I wanted the generators here in the first place is because they're so close to the ladder and I could quickly power them. However, well, let's, we can, mm, yeah, I think this is going to be worth it. We're going to do some reorganization today or yeah, today is in this day of Mr. Prepper's life. The more I could squeeze in here, the better. The more... Uh, you know what? Why don't we just go balls out and get a fit? Oh. Whoops. Boop. 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 We got some lights in here, please. How many lights are we gonna need? Uh, let's just do one. And let's, well, if, if we're gonna craft more, we definitely want our energy up high. Increases the rate of which we build. This chicken's going bad. Wait, pause, hold the phone. What were we going to do? We can use the chicken and the cabbage. Do we have cabbage? We do. Chicken and cabbage. We're making bigos. Awesome. Not a whole lot. But it's something. We'll make turkeys with the rest. Actually, we're going to eat some of this. Um, boop. We're going to grab one of our energy drinks. We're gonna have to get some more of those, which is also why I wanted to go to the forest. Can we just eat these sunflowers? We can. I don't know what else to do with them. Might as well eat them. Hey, I, I thought we were cooking more turkeys than this. Cook, cook them, cook them turkeys. 
How is it already 1,600 hours? What the heck? I'm gonna drink another energy drink. Damn. Um, we're gonna need so much space. Okay, well, first of all, before the day is gone... Wait, this stuff is expiring. Throw it in the smoker. That's always your solution when something's about to go bad. You smoke the crap out of it. I keep calling it a smoker, but really it's a dryer. Is that the same thing, I think? I don't know. Uh, now- Ooh, we can use this to make more energy drinks. Where's the energy drinks listed? Here. Five. That's a happy number. Channel 5 Gaming. We are restocked. I think the berries can go in the cupboard because they're dried. Do we have anything dried in here? No. We're going to uh, see what we can sell here today. Pate. Berries. Anything else? Maybe uh, get rid of that last loose piece of cabbage. This can actually go... We're overweight. Okay. Let's do our trades. Oh, that is the worst. Okay. No. We can't... We can't grab... Uh, we have a furnace on us. I'm just gonna put this furnace... Outside. <laughs> so we can accept our mail. And do our trades. There you go. Huntress doesn't need anything. Jenny, take the one loose cabbage. Nancy, wait, we have carpets on us? Oh, we bought those because the textiles, right. Okay, I'm pausing it. Think, 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 what do we need? What do we need? Is there anything super important that we need right now? Oh, it's electronics. Yes. One electronic. Two electronics. So we gotta buy those telephones every time they're up. Bob is not selling electronics just yet. Okay, now we can grab this. And head back on in. Alright, what do we have to put away here? Store, store, dry, dry, dry. And we had some dry stuff in the fridge that shouldn't be there. And it's getting late. I can't believe this. When was the last time I checked traps, too? Our, our generators are going. Uh, I wanted to bring some water. We gotta use the water that's down there. Okay, I'm gonna quickly water all the plants. We're gonna run to the forest. Empty out our traps. We're getting shit done tonight. Get your seeds, get your seeds. What do we need? Cabbage and beets. Cabbage, beets. Go. Water. Oh, we're going to go quick plant. Water. Water. Quick plant. Water. Water. Getting in a rhythm. Quick plant. Water. Pick. Hey, why can't we pick this one? Quick plant. Water. Pick. Water. Water. Good. Next. Water. Quick plant. Water. Quick plant. Boom. Let's get this done. And there we go. Yeah, I think this area serving as a storage room would be good. How many things did we end up picking up from that? We will throw this in the dryer. And the cucumbers can go in this fridge for now. I don't want to deal with them. The crappy part is... I gotta think. I gotta pause it and think. We'll do the reorganization tomorrow. On a fresh day when we have plenty of sunlight. Uh, this furnace can go back down. It's just weighing us down. I definitely want to move these seeds to this side. So I can grab my seeds as I'm running into the... the hydroponics lab and then 
we're just gonna put this stuff away. Uh, actually, we're gonna put this greenhouse down so I don't like put it in a storage container and forget about it. Wait, why can't I go in here? Oh, there's a bug with this game, you guys? Oh no. Yeah, there's, see, there's a bug, just so you know. When you're trying to play something and it kind of like midway cancels or, or you try to give another action, he gets stuck trying to do that action. You have to place it beside you and you have to place the exact same object. Wait, 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 we want to turn that off. It's just using power. I like how it it's self-powered. We don't need the um, big old lights here, the farming wall lamps. It looks like it's self-sufficient. Uh, so that's big. Okay, we have two hours left to get our traps done. Uh, why don't we do... We're going to be out there for a while, so I want to do big game and rare. Oh, do we, do we have traps to place? Do I have any on me? I should probably buy some. Up, 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 up. He's not selling any. Well, that's fine. We're gonna just go with what we have. There's plenty of traps down. I think we did a trap batch last episode. I can't remember now. I'm losing track of things. I almost like need a um, a manager. Like, it'd almost be good to play this game two player. Like if Sal was here, because then <laughs> he could be like watching and writing things down like what do you need to do next don't forget to do that like i could see this being a fun game to be playing with your friend because there's so many things to remember and so many things you got to do under pressure that somebody else could alleviate some of that pressure by memorizing some of those things that you need to get done uh make it a checklist oh write this down write that down uh because it just it feels like sometimes uh, I forget completely about certain things I had planned because five other things pop up and distract me from what I was doing. It's a little chaotic. That's the one thing if I were to uh, make a request with this game. Um, I wish the days were like twice as slow. Now, I understand like you would never get through the calendar months at that rate, but I only wish it was twice as slow in the case of you're not doing anything. So right now the time is ticking. It's like one, one minute is a second. So yeah, in, in theory, it just uh, one minute is uh, an hour or whatever. It just goes by too quick. I, I think that would make a 24 minute day. No, that doesn't seem right. I think it's a little bit faster. So I'm going to 12 minute day. I can't really tell. Anyways, point being, I feel like the time goes too fast when you're just not, when you're just kind of running around and doing uh, things. But I get when you're crafting and when you're disassembling and you're doing all that stuff, the time should go fast. It should be sped up. But I think... Like when we're gonna go do some reorganization downstairs. So you're gonna do decorating. The time's just tick, 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 ticking away. And that's when I would like to go. Hold the phone, let's put it on pause mode. Let's take our time. We just made $400 off that, by the way. That was a big trap run. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, let's get to sleep. Yeah, so we're gonna go downstairs tomorrow and just start shuffling things around. And that's like the time is gonna tick by and, and the whole day will be wasted just moving things. And I don't even know if we can get it all done in a day. We're gonna try, we're gonna see. But that's the part where I wish the game was a little bit slower. But it is what it is. They uh, balanced it for a reason. They've obviously tested this. They've obviously beaten the game. So I'm just gonna trust the developers made the right decision. I had raw meat on me the whole time I was sleeping. Yikes. We're gonna throw this stuff in the smoker. And we're gonna quickly check our trades. I just gonna grab the general stuff that we usually sell. No, I gotta beat the mailman. Gotta beat the mailman. Ha ha ha, beat the mailman. The reason I wanted to beat the mailman is I don't wanna deal with what's coming in. I just wanna send things out. Oh, do we have electronics today? We have wood. Plastic, two more phones. 
We needed 10 electronics to upgrade our workbench, and we're actually halfway there now. Good. Bob selling any electronics? No. Do have any books to buy? Learn how to use fuel more efficiently. We might as well buy it. All right. So nobody's buying our dried stuff at the moment. And it does seem like dried stuff can go in the cupboards just fine. Uh, we're going to eat. Do we have any food going bad? Eggs seem to last a while, too. That's good. Yeah, I'm just going to eat this dried food. And uh, we might as well grab, a, grab an energy drink. Top ourselves off. Let's head up these dryers. Dried berries. Actually, we're going to grab them and move them before... Because we're going to end up needing to move them, but if they're drying stuff, that's a bit of a problem. I wouldn't mind having these on a shelf or something. I kind of want to get decorative in here. I also need to try how these trees grow. So, And we do have the power source. We have the power. Okay, I got to prioritize. We have to prioritize. Right. Is this thing full? It is. Crap. Let's get the big, big room going, because we wanted to do that. Let's get that going. Oh, that extra carry weight is so good. It's so good. Is there anything else I'm carrying? Just these phones. Let's drop. The one problem with the down shoot ladder is if I clicked here and he's already on the ladder, he has to finish going up and down. You might want to stagger your ladders if you're playing this game. Just a little bit of advice. All right, pause. What are we doing? Do I have lights on me? Okay, I'm gonna need, what are we decorating with down there? How do I plant trees? These are the things we need to know. Do I need a hydroponics light? Let's go grab our tree seeds. Pause. Planters, planter. Corn, beetroot. We only have one orange tree. And it says planting a greenhouse to grow the tree. I thought I saw on the Steam page there was a picture of a tree and it was growing to the top. And that's why I thought the greenhouses were going to be too high. Like, I don't need the room to be this big, actually. Which is a little bit sad because we've already gone ahead and made it this big. So I need to pause and think. We don't need the greenhouse to be this tall. What we kind of need to do is shift these. So what we actually need is a second room. Two second rooms. Because we'll put these up in the upper bunks. And we might even make a ladder going so we can go all the way down without having to go to the end and then back we can go yeah we'll loop around that was quick we're getting efficient and then we'll build another one and now we can kind of simulate what we have in the top right corner here and here and then we'll only have trees in the middle whenever we get that we are really piling up the dirt so we're going to be able to make a lot of planters and now we can grab these guys Oh, we need ladder. We're going to need multiple ladders. We're going to one, two, th three, maybe. Let's make some. Do I have any ladders? No. So we're going to make three lad. One, two, three. Three ladders. Why is it not letting me craft the ladders? Oh, you can only craft them one at a time? Shoot. Let's 
go slam an energy drink. This is also why I had like, I, I kind of think I should have a fridge in here or something. I don't know if this is the best room to do crafting in, but I've already kind of committed to it. I mean, hindsight is 2020, right? Frick. Uh, I have too much carry weight. We're gonna have to just stick with the one ladder for now. You can't really go ahead and, I mean, you're limited to what you have in the beginning of the game. You can't really build your crafting bench and rooms any further. So this should fit. It does. And we could probably sneak in a few in here. We're growing orange tree. Apparently. Huh. We're gonna have to get more seeds, like greenhouse seeds. Awesome. Well, can we... Can he put that up there? No. Actually, one here. And one here. It's about symmetrical. I really want to know how to do the trees, and we're going to go get buy some seeds. Our um, baits are going to take a while. Speaking of which, does Buddy have traps for us? Okay, we just made a 400. Buddy, traps, 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 traps. Nope. Okay, seeds. Um, pause. We're going to get all the seeds. Cabbage, beets... Uh, sure, sunflowers. What does it say about sunflowers? Put into a planter. Might as well get the corn. Uh, sure. Cu no, we have enough cucumbers. Put in a greenhouse to grow a tomato bush. Put in a greenhouse to grow an orange tree. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Wait a second. I only have a certain amount of greenhouses, so I'm not going to need this many. We get two of each. We already have one orange, so we'll get two tomato, one orange. We'll get four greenhouses going with those. Actually, already have... Pr well, we're going to have a lot more planters soon. And I kind of want to organize things by type. So I'm okay with this trade. Does Gourmet need anything today? They want meat pies. Which was pate, egg, flour, and spices. We have a lot of that. And they're willing to take three. So we should go make three meat pies. They'll take uh, three blueberry pies. Blueberry jam and eggs and flour. We should probably buy more flour and eggs. Um, marinated corn and kimchi. So we need three meat pies, three blueberry pies. I don't I don't think I have blueberries anymore. Let's check the cupboards. We have dried berries. Should go get some uh too heavy. What do we got on us? Water. Carrying a lot of water. Let's, let's water these plants then. We need some seeds, beets, carrots. Do the quick plant. Yeah, these plants are growing insanely fast. I kind of want to reorganize how they're laid out. These ones that don't regrow, I want them to um, be all in one spot. 
so I don't get confused on which ones I have to quick plant and which ones I'm just rewatering and harvesting. And I kind of want these Grana seeds all together. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix this up. But this is what I'm saying is like... I, uh, I want to go do these quests. I haven't found the Geiger counter. And uh, I'm just, I'm getting, spending so much, the time is just flying by. Where I'm like, how do I keep up with all this stuff? And do quests. I think I have to just stop focusing on this stuff for a while. And force myself to go do quests. But, I just started saying, let's focus on just this for a while. And that, that'll be our focus. So, we're gonna do some cooking, right? How's our dryer doing? We got all this dried meat now. I'm gonna have to build another cupboard for all this stuff. We're gonna dry these berries. Okay. Pause. I need to think we needed meat pies and um, that was the pate. You could probably get away with just a six of those. We can't do the blueberry pies, but we needed spices and flour. Why why am I so freaking heavy? Oh dried meat okay we can make beet soup can beet soup turn into anything no it was the vegetable soup that we needed and the only thing we're missing is carrots so we have to grow more carrots okay well so we'll hold on to the beets for now salt I was missing something. <gasps> That's not good. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We need to buy salt. Well, that's selling salt. You really fly through the salt. Wait, didn't I buy a bunch of ingredients? Didn't not get salt with that? Okay. We needed those pies. What was in the pies? Meat pie. No. Is the meat pie tier four? It is. Eggs. Meat pie. And they said three. Oh, we can only do two? Why only two? What are we low on? Power went out. And that's what I don't like about the power being all the way over here, but not much we can do about that. Oh, I don't think I can create that many meat pies because my inventory is full. Well, we can put the beets away. And I think we want to make some kimchi, but I want to save the cabbage for the vegetable soup. More meat pie. There we go. Cooking meat pies. We're going to get really late into the night here. Hopefully we don't pass out. Come on, 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 come on. Get those meat pies. I don't think there was anything else. We have pickles. Let's just run over. Put some of this meat pie away. Oh, is kimchi? Do we have kimchi? No. They'll buy those meat pies another day. We can store those in the fridge. 
crap. Pause. What are we going to do about this situation? We can smoke the meat. We can store the cucumbers. Mm. I can't cook the turkeys in time. Actually, I'll, I'm going to take this meat. And store it downstairs. We can have the eggs up here. Boogie, 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 boogie. No, not that. No, not that. Oh, crap. Oh, no, forget the smoker. Get to bed. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh, it's down to the wire. Climb faster. Run up those stairs. I almost should put the bed somewhere else too, eh? Going all the way upstairs to sleep seems inefficient. She almost put a bed in the bunker. Hmm. Intermediate prepper by passing month two. Achievement. Uh, what's month three gonna be? One thing that really concerns me is the power outages. I don't know why my generators can't power everything when the power goes out. It seems like when the power's out, the power's out for good. That means everything. But when that happens, you lose everything. It's just a net loss. And you have to replant everything and everything rots unless you have a lot of dried stuff. It's just a horrible situation. All right. We we're going to smoke the venison. Let's go eat some breakfast. What do we low on here that we can get rid of. This gumbo's kind of getting in the way. Do we have any salt left? Some water. Crap, did I put that water away? Let's get these pickles made. Could make another batch of kimchi or two. I know I want to save the lettuce, but there's more than enough lettuce for. Her. And we got we we have more growing. And we're officially out of salt. We're gonna have to order some more. gonna pull everything out and see what she could she'll buy off me uh-oh what's in the paper no a one-day blackout coming in three days okay we have to use that to our advantage the blackout is gonna kill all of our plants and that sucks because we just started growing our orange tree but all of these will die. Everything. So we'll be out of, uh, like, we could, it get, we could use that to our advantage to reorganize rather than having to pull up our seeds. Or wait, I think if I just pull them up, I get the seed back. So we might want to manually pull them up rather than just let them die. So we'll empty out our planters on the day the power goes out. And then reorganize the next day when the power's back. That'll that'll be a good idea. Everything in the fridge will rot. First of all, let's do our trades. So we want to make sure we don't have a lot of produce. Oh boy, what have I done? I can't do trades because... Ugh. Ugh. Hopefully that's enough space. No? Okay. 
Oh, we got our little um, book. Got our gasoline usage. We have some seeds I can dump. The tell. Oh, we didn't get the telephone. Seeds add up and wait. We can smoke this. That's in the dryer. We're gonna need an energy drink. Our weight is still pretty high. Put these berries away. I should have put the salt away. Ah, we're good. Uh, buy all the Huntress's stuff, like always. Gourmet, they'll buy pickles off us today. Can we get any telephones, lamps, and textiles? Might as well get those textiles. Put this book away, now that we've learned the skill, and store all of this. Oh crap, I think I need a meat shelf. Salt. I should buy more salt. Flour. Yeah, we need a meat shelf. Yeah, the eggs definitely last a long time. How's this thing doing? Let's bring some more water down. We're just gonna have to put the meat... Uh, we're gonna have to make a shelf for the meat. I really want to build this little kitchen. Mm. Slightly irritating. And we, we need a new water supply. <laughs> oh, pause. What do I need to do here? We need water containers at the Yazoo. We need shelves to store food. In theory, I wish I could put a second shelf in the kitchen. Because this is where we're doing all the storing. And this stuff is just full. Can I build a kitchen cupboard? Can I build a kitchen cupboard? Book set. Maybe if I scrap the kitchen cupboard. Oh, we can craft a kitchen cupboard. That could help. Wait, that's not a kitchen cupboard. We can't open it. Well, that was a waste of everything. I need a kitchen cupboard that opens and stores. The only thing I see is that I can store stuff on is uh nothing. There's a nothing. A crate, a wooden box and a wardrobe. How many crates can we have? We can have zero to two without the guy getting mad. What's bigger, a wardrobe or a crate? <laughs> That's nine. That's 12. Wardrobe it is. Unfortunately, this won't fit in our kitchen. So we're gonna have to just put it here. 
and this is going to be our dried food shelf. All this dried stuff can go over there. And then our canned food can go in here. Dry, 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 dry. Actually, we can make more energy drinks. Should have drank one first. Whoops, I just equipped that. How do you... What does that mean? You can equip things? Why would I want to do that? Hmm. That's interesting. Why would you want to equip food to your character? Huh. Two days have passed. Our traps are probably done, too. Wait, how many wardrobes can I have? Okay, the inspector won't get mad with these three. Good. I didn't even think about that. Okay, let's toss this stuff away. Did I check trades? Can't remember. Seeds. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, don't do that. All our water bins are literally just full. And these are the last uh, time we're going to be able to grow stuff before the power outage comes. We're going to keep going with these carrots. Yes, carrots and beets. Wait, I have all these other seeds on me. Let's put these away. Whoops. Cabbage. Yeah, I'm fine with these. Any of those is going to be fine. It's getting late. Quick plants. Water. Water. Harvest. Quick plant. Water. Harvest. Water. Harvest. Quick plant. Water. Water. Harvest. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious to know if I can actually uproot these and get the seeds back. Because then you can just kind of, like, avoid the power outage killing all your plants like it happened to us that one time. And then we'll just have to deal with the food. So I'm going to have to take everything in the food and either dry it, cook food out of it, or, like, can it. Or just let it go. Um, we have a lot of produce that right now that we're sitting on. Is there anything in this fridge? Chicken and cucumbers. We'll take the cucumbers. And this dried stuff can go upstairs in our new dried bin. We're going to put these berries in the dryer. I have so much dried meat. It's almost a problem. I've been like almost over trapping. We're gonna make some pickles. Do I have water on me?
Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the forest in time, that's okay. Pause. Gourmet. Yes, they do want pickles. No, that's our salt. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. No telephones. No, we checked all that today. Uh, might as well get that. You know what? I think we can hurry. If we really boogie boogie. get these traps. Who would? And we just quick set. It really doesn't take that much time to do the trapping. Like, we're, we're, the time is ticking right now. Like, we're in trouble, but this is so quick. You just click, 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 quick trap. Oh, frick. Are you kidding me? What am I carrying that's so heavy? Well, now it's not as quick. At least if I put bait down, it'll... ...free us up a little. Oh, it's that log. You know what? I'm gonna throw that log on the ground. Can I not do that? Can I delete it? We deleted it. Screw it. It's a waste of wood, but I don't care. If it's the difference of getting this uh, fat loot, it's worth it. I think we should do a forest run. <laughs> I feel like I said that three hours ago. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Trapping successful. What was the haul? Pause. We're down to the wire here. Oh, wow. Three ant- Four? Five? Five antlers? Oh, Bob. We'll be buying out Bob tomorrow. Christ almighty. Sleep time. Woo! Oh. Okay, we got one more day until the inspector and then the power outage. So that's kind of what I need to prepare for, is cleaning out the fridge. Anything in there needs to get cooked out. And then, uh... We, we avoid any net losses of things rotting. Oh, she didn't... We had that many antlers... And there's more. She just didn't want any more. So now she want, she'll take even more. We will take all of your baits. Give it to all of us. Okay. Seeds. Pause. We'll just get all these seeds. Was there any more? No, I'm good with this. Um... Jetsons. No no electronics? Oh, crap. Of course. Guy shows up at the worst time, doesn't he? <sighs> That's annoying. all this meat. Oh, that's because of the trapping run last night. I need a lot of carrots because I could cook that chicken down, right? I think that's how I was doing it. I could carry 70 pounds. This should be fine. 
trades. Here, take the kimchi, take the pickles. Oh, she wants dried meat, pate, and pies again. Let's take some more salt. Have sh sugar, flour. Give us all the stuff. We're rolling in the cash now. Wait, are we out of... Ah, fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. The freaky generators. Killing me. Oh, put all these baits away. Okay, let's grab, uh... Some breakfast, first of all. What can I do with the beets? Eggs. We, oh, we can sell the meat pie that we have. But it was the pate that I needed, right? We only have one. Oh, we need the carrots for the pate, that's right. So the meat pie was page four? We just need flour and spices. Holy crap, that's a lot. Oh wait, it's gonna rot in a couple days though. Ah, shit. Yeah, these pies are gonna go bad. So I actually kind of only want to cook one. And sell what we have. Right, that makes sense. And what can I do with all this meat again? Like I need to can this chicken. I can't make canned chicken or something. Canned cucumber soup, energy, what's an energy bar? Oh yeah, that's right. Snake stew, no, mushroom soup, tomato soup, pasta, eggs and flour. The ramen is huge, because once you make the pasta and the vegetable soup, you turn, ramen will never go bad. Like, ever. I think it will last a thousand years. The meat stew. Energy bars and dried meat. That'll never go bad. It's a, it's essentially like a, a meaty energy bar. What was the energy bar made out of? So once you get apple and oranges, you could use all that dried meat to make these stacks of pemmican. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, what did I do with those meat pies? Okay, let's grab those. Oh, grab some dried meat on the way. I think they only buy four, so we'll do that. Do they want berries? You can check. Uh, I hate this, how you can... They... Wait. Uh, yeah, you can't trade if you're full, and then... That's silly. You should... Because then... I would be able to offload this stuff and then grab what's in there. That's so annoying to me. Was 12 pounds enough? This is where I'm fid I'm losing most of my time in this episode for fiddling with weight issues. But it's my fault for buying so much stuff. So I kind of want to do get everything out and done with for the day before I start buying stuff. We're learning, we're still making mistakes. Um, finding ways to improve. Look at all this stuff we can sell. Dried berries. Thank you. Take those off my hands. Dried meat. Uh, take the pate. Take the meat pies. Huge money. Mance, Jenny, do you need anything? No, we're good. 
Yeah, we need a lot of, um, what was it? We need a way to get, I should just start eating this. The dried berries are not that good. It's these ones that you want, the other berries. These just aren't doing me anything. Like I can sell them very seldomly and not, yeah, it's just not really worth it. So the, the, the actual chicken was, what was I making with that? That was the pate, right? Yeah, venison and carrots. No, not chicken. What the heck was I doing with the chicken? Ah! How have I forgotten? That was the Beagos. But the Beagos you can't really do anything with. We made some of that, it was just kind of pointless. Unless like the, the that goes into something else. Like if I could can the Beagos. Which it doesn't look like I can. Yeah, it's just a bit of a waste. Hmm. So the chicken just sucks. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Chicken sucks. The venison, at least you can make stuff with. So you might as well just... Whoops. That's not what I wanted to eat. Cook the chicken into turkeys or something and eat them all. All right, pause and think. What are we doing? We've cleared out our inventory. We're good. Um, I don't need this newspaper. Oh, yeah, the power was going to go out. We wanted to clear out our fridge for the coming power, but there's just all this meat. It's just going to go bad. At this point, I don't really care. The beets are going to go bad. I, the only thing I can think of is making beet soup. But what does that beet soup turn into? You can't... Can you can beet soup? You can. Oh... Ooh. And it's just beets and water. That's good. We can get rid of it and not lose it. We need a little bit more water. Some salt. Beet soup. Let's go. Just gonna... Beat the crap out of this soup. Holy moly, that's taken a long time to make. Can I hold control to speed it up even more? No. The beats are literally going in our bad in our inventory as we're doing this. All the beats are gone, and then we just can the crap out of it. Now we're not going to lose our beats when the power goes up. Not much I could do with beet soup. I don't know if anyone actually buys it, but it's better than it just rotting. And, uh, you know, canned food lasts forever. Oh, we're, we're tired. We are going beyond the sleeping levels. Energy drink. God, I love the energy drinks. The, miss the Dr. Preppers. <laughs> best all right well we dealt with our beats that's good that's really good how much uh cabbage does it take to make kimchi two and we have five let's make some kimchi figuring it out We're getting rid of this uh, produce and I think the only th thing is you can't smoke chicken for whatever reason you can smoke venison make pate so I mean we're gonna lose our chicken big deal we can eat some of it we can turn it into turkeys 
we're getting so much of it, there's not a lot that I can do with it, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. What's in the mail? A boatload of cash. Did we buy our stuff? Looks like we did. I th we're running low on salt again. And nothing good from Sturgeon, nothing good from this guy. I think I can quickly check my traps. We will do larger, longer baits. And not have to worry about it tomorrow. Wow, the episode's already one hour. Oh, we already did large baits? Did we do all large baits? It's already one hour into the episode, which is just so surprising to me. Say that, I think I say that every freaking time. But that's what I was saying a, a, a while ago. I, I started playing this game after I did a recording, and then four hours went by. Like, at least when I'm recording, I'm keeping an eye on the time, right? And uh, I don't let the time get away from me as quickly. But if you just start playing this game, you better you better keep an eye on the time because it'll be sunrise before you know it. It's really really bad. I'd I'd say out of all the games that I've played, this one has that the biggest time warp mechanic where uh, it just uh, makes time vanish. It's good though. I think that's a positive thing. If you're bored, this game is going to keep you entertained for a very long time. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we got some pelts out of the deal there. Does the Huntress want them? Of course she does. Alright, it's inspection day. We need to prepare for that. Mr. Prepper's got to prepare! Oh! Okay, I'm excited. I want to, um... I want to do some quests. I know I started my little grow up thing, and I'm not quite happy with it yet. I want to figure out how to plant, like, actual tall trees, but I don't think... The green... I was mistaken. There's something after the greenhouse. And, like, the apple trees or something. I don't know what it is, but there's seeds that we don't have yet. That are taller than these because it shows in the steam screenshots like large trees in a too high area i thought that's what i was preparing myself to do this is just a waste right now we should have gone smaller well now we know now you guys know you don't need these big rooms quite yet i have a feeling eventually we're going to need this big room so it will come in handy eventually and uh, we're gonna lose, we're gonna have to pull down everything from our garden tomorrow anyways because the power is going out. So there's no sense in really expanding on this just yet. Inspector's coming today. So we just need to make sure our house is in order and then whatever spare time we have, we, we can just go gather and maybe go to the mines and maybe do some of these quests. No, don't you dare. We're gonna beat you to it. Uh, oh, uh, it's only some salt. Stock up. Wow, I have $1,146. My trapping and my cooking. So that, I mean, that's the on the, the positive side of everything that I've been doing. We're gonna get more salt too. I spent a lot of time sinking into the trade system we're cooking we were you know we got we got a flow of materials coming in and out and uh through that process we've essentially gotten rich oh wait jetson's house has just leveled up <gasps> now they're selling phones and computers computer gives four electronics we can upgrade our workbench it's happening this episode no way D did anyone else level up 
It's just the Jetsons. Bob. Oh my god, it's happening. Alright, well, let's buy some books off Bob. More effective combat. Learn how to be more prepared. Eh, sure. Oh, uh, what's this one? Learn how to sleep and nap more efficiently. Sure, I mean, we might as well. Now all our money's gone. We're no longer rich. <laughs> but we're capping out our skill tree. So, I mean, if anything in the last couple episodes, and my, the way I've been approaching the game, making all that money, that was my focus. And through that process, we've gotten a lot of skills, which is going to make us more efficient for everything that we do. And now when we go do those quests, we're going to get them done a lot faster because we're so efficient at combat and we're going to be energized. We could bring energy drinks with us and... You know, everything's going to be a little bit better. And now we're going to get our next level workbench. Everything's huge. We have an inspector coming today, though. So let's get rid of these pails. At least I think he's coming today. Let's go check the calendar. I'm just going to hold on to the pails. Really no sense in storing them. They're kind of heavy, but it's fine. In the meantime, I just have to... Uh, I'll just water the plants or something. Well, they are going to die tomorrow. Is there any point? Well, we have so much water, I guess it doesn't matter. We're just killing time until the inspector comes anyways. Only thing is, now we're getting all this produce that I was just trying to get rid of. I'm not going to plant more. We're just going to pull up what we have, water the rest. Tomorrow when the power goes out, we'll reorganize the bushes, the plants. Maybe even put some more planters down so we have kind of our final plan and we can really look at... Um, our numbers, our total amount of plants. And we have these extra spaces downstairs that we can use now too. What do we get for protos here? Cucumbers, beets. I guess I'll go make... Uh, if we had cabbage, we would have been able to make the vegetable soup. Oh, we have one. Can we make one vegetable soup? Nope, you need to. But we can do... Pickles? Why can't you do canned beets? And I guess with this chicken, we might as well do this. Um, balls. All these buckets are really hurting. gonna put the buckets in here for now chicken still can't carry it not the chicken and carrots we're gonna make the the, the soup oh wait it's chicken and cabbage I thought it was chicken and carrots Oh, no, that was the pate. And it was venison. That's fine. We'll cook. We'll, we'll mix this up. We can salvage this. All right, where's my pate? Salt, of course. Gets rid of those carrots. Gets rid of the venison. Hopefully the inspector doesn't show up while I'm... Oh. We don't want to be wearing this gear when he shows up. What did I have last time that gave me a ding in the rating? It was the books. And we've since fixed that. So we want to make sure our helmet is off. And our baseball bat is off. And... Pickles. Shit, he's here. I 
I think we're... Oh, yes, of course. Cover up our uh, bomb shelter. Power's out, too. Buckets are taken care of. Is he going to be suspicious that the power's out? No, no, no. We don't have enough time to get up there. Or do we? No. Yeah, we got to just cover this up. Hopefully he's not suspicious about the power. Why's uh, nothing work in your house? Well, I mean, it's a learning experience. It's just good to find out if that's the thing. I mean, it's daytime. I could just have everything turned off. Five, five star. Wait, why? Why is there suspicion level five percent? It's not explaining to us why we got 5% suspicion. It might just be because we're slightly consuming water. I could probably just stop consuming water altogether. But would that be suspicious? Is he suspicious because I'm not consuming that much water? Average daily is less than normal. <laughs> That's tricky balance. Well, it doesn't matter. We got a five star. waste paper. Yeah, I, I need to move that water bin. So when we do our whole shuffling around, I gotta move this. Okay, let's grab our, um... What were we doing? Uh, I'm actually going to do my best to just sell everything. Did I not make pickles? Oh, the power went out. That's why while I was cooking the pickles. Yeah, it's a little annoying running over here for the power now, but at least it's all in one spot and I can focus my uh, storage here. Oh, we want to dry the berries too. Did I order salt? I did. Oh my goodness, look at all this. I'm taking the books. Actually, I'm gonna have to take everything, but I can't. Books! Boom! No time to sleep. Yeah! Boom! Karate Prepper. <laughs> prepper 101, book smart. Look at that, I have all the skills. Crazy. That's sick. Couple things to store away. We have our electronics. That's what we need to do is upgrade our workbench ASAP. Because we have all the freaking electronics, technically. Where did I put those freaking buckets? In here. Too heavy. What's weighing me down? The weight is just my biggest uh, nemesis right now. Let's get these buckets placed and that should solve most of it. This is what I don't like when the inspector comes. He just kind of throws a loop in everything. Um, and now I'm just kerfuffled. Get the buckets down. See you in a week. I keep seeing the power flashing on the fridge and it's messing me up. soup make it all it's all gonna rot tomorrow anyway and I'll try to cook the chicken last second 
so that it becomes cooked chicken, and then we we beat the system. I don't know if we're going to get these pickles done in time. crap in here. Good. We can carry it, though. Would you like to buy some pate? Yes, you would. Jenny? Buy our cabbage. Buy our freaking cucumbers. They're going bad. We're done with them. And, uh... No more electronics to buy. I'm not really too concerned about our traps at this moment. We're making... We've made so much money. Um... Oh, we have some feathers in here. Might as well get rid of those. This huntress. There we go. Alright. Anything weighing us down. Just get these canned foods in the cupboard. Boop, 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 boop. From here, we're working on our workbench. We have a little bit of time left in the day. So let's try to break down some of these electronics. I'm gonna break them down one by one just to play it safe. get through that and we're back on track annoying it's the worst thing in this game the power outage and I don't understand why I have so many generators and that's not enough but what can you do blackout here it goes Burr. Wah, wah, wah. So, yeah, all this stuff is going to be done, Zod. Eh, it's not too much. We cooked it all down. The eggs is sad because we spent so much money on the eggs. It's kind of why you don't want to stockpile too much. Yeah. All right, well, let's go uproot our plants. Can I just... Yeah, I have to grab them. To do... And I get the seed back. I do. Okay. Guys, rather than cutting the episode short, I'm g I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quickly. Lightning speed. I'm gonna. Le <laughs> I'm not able to edit this out. I'll be right back. Oh, I should pause it first.
Record speed bathroom break. Which means I didn't wash my hands. Sue me, I'm a prepper. What can you do? All right. Uh, what, uh, let's put our seeds away. The dryer ain't gonna do us good any right now. I'm going to um, put the planters in this cupboard with the seeds, and we'll just sort that out later. So the plants aren't gonna rot. Oh, our poor little orange tree that we paid like $40 for. Oh yeah, I can grab it. That'll fix it. Wait, can I harvest it first? Uh, nope. So we gotta grab it. Wait. Grab. Yes, we got the seed back. Thank goodness. And I think I can still craft with the power off. So we might as well just do that. These veggies are gonna go bad. Is there anyone buying veggies? Oh, she's buying sunflower seeds and paying a hefty penny for it. That's a great little save. Get, get your baits. The money will flow back in once we set all these baits. Electronics. A sofa? Look how many textiles you get for that sofa. That's crazy. I'll pass on it for now. We have officially bought out Bob. Do we have every skill in the game? Or is there going to be another tier once we... Can you borrow some sugar? Absolutely, I've never been able to do this before. One sugar. Here you go, Kate. I've huh. gladly lent you some sugar. Huh. Thank you, neighbor. We're we gonna build up some reputation with Kate. Let's get to work. We got a workbench to make. Hells yes. Let's scrap this thing. Dismantle. We need an energy drink. If we want to work efficiently, we got to be recharged. All right. Any other... We might have enough. Workbench level four. <gasps> we need metal and glass. We should have a lot of metal and glass in here, though, to break down. Well, let's deal with the electronics first. I thought we had enough electronics. Computer. Wood. No, we didn't need wood. It's glass and metal. Glass. Metal. Glass. Metal. 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 Ooh, we're kind of low on glass. We should buy some more. Bob sells glass. Jetsons, they don't, they don't have glass. Sergi should have some lights. Not today. Doesn't hurt to have some more wood. And metal. Let's get to work. Okay, let's start with this stereo. The computer. Glasses next. Shipment of glasses arrived. 
what are we low on? 15 metal. Okay, let's get going on the metals. Barrels first, the big ones. These are two each. Let's get rid of those. We're good on metal. We just need the glass. The glass is in the mail. I think we got it. I think we freaking got it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's drink a energy drink. Celebra celebration, Dr. Prepper. Okay, I could use a good Dr. Pepper right now. There it is. Workbench level four. Let's go. I'm going to take a steam screenshot. Workbench level four. What did that do? Okay, pause. Freezer? <gasps> oh! Food stored in the container will never go bad. Oh! <laughs> Can you freeze vegetables? That is a life changer. That was way better than using our materials on any of the quests. By pushing towards the bench was definitely... I mean, the power goes out, everything in the freezer dies. So, I mean, like, you, that's the thing I don't like about this power system. Why aren't my generators powering the house? The power goes out, everything goes out. There's no ifs and, but isn't that what a generator is for? A backup generator? So when your power goes out, you have power? Like, that's what I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I, I don't get that part. Maybe we need a better generator. <sighs> Maybe there needs to be more of them. I don't know how much initial power this gives. Maybe that's like two or three generators worth. And maybe I just need more of them. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's a game mechanic where it's just powered out. So you got all this food in your freezers and you're stockpiling and everything in those freezers is going to rot. The way we're doing it now is a little, like at least we can handle the situation. But if I had three freezers stocked to the tits with food, goodbye, all of it, one, one bad day. That's what I don't get. Oh, oh. It will allow you to become independent off your energy supplier. Devours fuel like a monster. Oh. There's our answer. We don't need the generator right now because we, we've, we've got a solution. But on days where the power goes out, for goods, for goods, we kick in the generator. We turn that bad boy on, power comes back, and we never worry about our freezers thawing. But we need fuel. So that's our next quest, to get fuel. But we already have the skill to make fuel more efficient. So when we do get fuel, a disco switch, just for fun, disco's not dead. Say what? Gotta pick one of those. Okay, we have a disco switch. Um, what else do we got? Waterloo? This wonder of modern technology will collect water for you. Say what? Say what? No more buckets? Are you telling me we don't have to do the bucket trick anymore? An irrigator? Fill it with water and it'll automatically water all your plants in the room. Good thing we didn't organize our freaking garden yet because it will automatically water all the plants in the room. Which means you need space for the irrigator. So these little rooms are actually trash because it would take up half of the room. 
and now I'm contemplating all my life decisions. These little side rooms like this are crap. They're really crap, crap, crap. This, this is going to bore the hell out of you guys, and I think I might have to do this in between episodes. But what I'm thinking is, I don't even have room here for the rocket ship. I think it ends here. So I need a one long column for the rocket ship. I'm, let, let, let's test. Let's see. Can I build a room here? Oh, I can. So the rocket ship does fit there. Just barely. Okay. So what I was going to say was going to bore the hell out of you guys and had me thinking was I think I need to rearrange things because these two these two wide rooms are terrible. At least for gardening. This big room isn't doing anything for us at the current time. And maybe what I should have done these smaller rooms should be the two high ones because what you're going to make three trees in there or something and I don't even have the trees yet. And these should be the gardens. So we need one, two, three total, four long, narrow bits for our garden. And that's it. Then we have irrigator, irrigator, irrigator. All of this is getting watered. And then these can be our taller, chonkier ones for trees. And maybe we do another one here. And then we just get a real powerful grow up going with all irrigation systems going down the side. But in, I mean, that's not too hard to fix, actually. But I would probably like to do that in between episodes. I'm going to do this whole shuffling game. So you guys don't have to suffer through me doing that. I want you guys to see gameplay. So all these things in containers, I'm going to shuffle them about in between the next episodes. And, and resize the room, reshape everything, store things into bins. and move. It could take me several in-game days just to shuffle everything around to get a nice system because now we have to make room but this is good this is this this workbench was the smartest move we could make because it allowed a whole new set of things to unlock that is going to change the game like this waterloo we essentially want and we, we started going for this storage room so what i want is like i want the waterloo next to these water tanks and then those water tanks are filling up and then we want the irrigators next to that now, can the fill it with water? So we're still going to have to transfer water into the irrigators. Unless the water loo is right next to the irrigator and automatically fills the irrigator. That's something I'm going to have to test. Because you could just have a water loo next to an irrigator. But these water loos are damn expensive. So I think you just want one water loo next to a water tank, and it just fills that water tank up. When that's full, transfer it all over to the irrigator. Because, I mean, these things hold so much water. You guys saw. Like, but now it's going to water our plants for us, and all we have to do is pick all the plants up, and then we put it in the freezer. It lasts forever, and now we're just storing vegetables for days, and we go, oh, what are we cooking today? Let's go in the freezer and grab what we need. This just changed everything. The game's no longer fiddly and a pain in the butt and dealing with all this micromanaging of vegetables and things rotting. We have, uh, we have our ultimate solution, and then when the power goes out, our generator kicks in. So I think before I really, really work on this stuff, because it's going to take a lot of power. And then when the power goes out, everything that we do, our plants, our veg, you know, everything's just going to rot. I, I think our biggest plan from here should be to get a, a good source of fuel. But only use that fuel on the days that the power go out and just keep running off of wood. I don't know how... Yeah, because you basically just need one generator from my understanding, because it says here... It'll allow you to become independent of your energy supplier. Devours fuel like a monster. So uh, from my understanding, it works just like your household power electrical box. It replaces the electric box. So once you have one, it, boom, power kicks in on your house which is going to allow your generators to work. This is just like kind of like our Kickstarter. But 
it's going to chew up fuel. So we can just go ham with these and only use the generator on days that the power's out. And we only need fuel in a container for those rainy days. Good. Okay, what else do we get from this workbench? A hunting... Hunting clothes allows you to be a better hunter. Use it in the woods. Okay, so we got to start buying textiles. That's cool. And what did we get here? A sofa. Oh, yay. And a computer. Let's just try this. Oh, shit. I didn't have it on pause mode. I wanted to try this disco light. Oh, I guess we can't really do that because the power's out. All right, let's sleep. We have to, I, we have to progress. We've progressed the workbench. We're ahead of our time because we have these, all these awesome things that we can do at the workbench, but we don't have the materials and uh, we don't have the fuel. Which means our highest priority right now is to do quests, go on adventures. I'm not gonna worry about my garden. You know what we have? We we have. If we need food, we have plenty of that in the cupboards. We could just eat dry food for days. Sure, we're not gonna make any money. <clears throat> this stuff isn't growing. We'll figure that out later. You know, once once stuff starts growing. Wow, this starts going bad. I've never seen this dry food change color. Well, once we have the freezers, it does. It don't matter. Yeah, we'll. Eh, psh, it's fine. We don't need to grow anything for now. We'll just let everything sit. I've been dilly-dallying and monitoring this crap for far too long. Um, we need to go to the mines and the forest. But the forest needed 20 metal and 10 plastic. So, Oh, let's try out our disco light. That's kind of fun. It colors all the lights in the room. Hey, Kate. You need some more sugar? I want to help her out as much as possible. I'm wondering if she'll, like, come live with me or something. Start a family. I have this for you. Oh. That's sweet. She gave me carrot jam. Let's sell it. <laughs> oh, no one wants to buy it right now. Alright, hot diggity. Power went out. No? Why is this room dark? Wait, you... That's weird. Let's get our generators uh, reloaded. So we needed uh, 20 metal and uh, 10 plastic. What are the trades for the day? Dried berries, kimchi, mushrooms, dried meat. It's, I know we have plenty of dried meat. Looks like she's only taking three, so let's just grab what we need. What was it? Kimchi and dried berries? Not those kind. Although we can put that in our own container. We have kimchi. That, that dried meat's finally going bad. It took a long time. But that's only one stage, so it's going to take a long time before it enters the next stage. By then, we'll have a freezer. What was I doing? You want your uh, kimchi, your dried meat. There you go. $106. Huntress, always restock. Speaking of which, we're going to go into the forest and do a... Uh, no, forest gra gathering from the forest isn't that fun. I'll do that in between episodes. I'm just going to grab all the logs, all the berries. Um, all the berries we can turn into pies and um, um, Dr. Preppers. And then... Hey, 
Plastic, plastic, plastic. I'll take your electronics. Those seem very rare. We need the textiles now, too. Okay. And then, uh, let's go to the mine. We're gonna... Oh, wait. We're gonna upgrade the thing in the forest. But what do I need in the mine? We need the Geiger counter. Let's go to the mine. I haven't been there in a long time that I've almost forgotten what it is I was supposed to be doing there. And I have a feeling, and we haven't found Bob's jacket. I just neglect the mine so much. I should have brought an energy drink with me, but I guess that's kind of what those inventory slots are for. Do they not weigh anything when they're on your Oh, that's what... It, they might not weigh anything, so you can put things there. Like, bring fuel with you and stuff. Oh. And speaking of fuel, wasn't there, like, a thing mining stuff for me? Hey, there's... Oh my god. Rocks respawn. Oh my gosh. Everything respawns. I've, been, I've neglected the mines for two months, you guys. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, because I've been buy I can buy stone, and I had plenty, and I haven't really found a whole lot of use for stone. But I wonder if the ores respawn, because if the ore respawns, like that's next level game changing. Because then you do want to visit the mine at least once a week and see if the ores respawn. I remember the last time we were here, I, I put something in a bin and I haven't gone back for it. So there's a bin on level two that I'm supposed to check. This uh, rock weighs a ton. Let's see what happens if I put the rock. Oh, I can't equip the rock. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, the rock weighs a ton. Well, that's a bonus, I mean. So this is what I'm saying, like the gathering stuff, I don't think it's as entertaining. It's just me walking to a place and grabbing stuff. Uh, but I don't know, you guys surprise me sometimes. You, you you find every aspect of this game entertaining based off some of the comments you guys left. And I, I'm glad because I, I personally find it entertaining going through the forest and grabbing all the wood and all the berries, but it can seem a little tedious. Depends on the viewer or the, the person, I guess. Um, Oh, there's nothing down here. But yeah, I mean, it's it's part of the game, right? It needs to get done. But if I'm spending an hour doing it, I would rather be, like, trying to build our grow up one stage further or, you know, get a workbench or build something fun. So I might actually, um, between episodes, do some gathering and uh, reorganization of the base. I might actually want to wait until I have the new machinery in there. Right? I might want to save that for something we do together. But definitely need to uh, rethink our whole grow up situation and d redesign some of the spacing of the rooms. But I mean, it's practically empty right now. All I have to do is move the water bins and replace everything. That's why I don't want to get into the growing again right now we're just gonna drop the rocks off and go back grab an energy drink not gonna check the mail all these rocks go in the bin energy drink and back to the mine cool all right an hour and 45 already gosh darn time flies all right we're going to level two 
I'm hoping I can at least fully explore the mine by the end of this episode because I I want to try to find bo oh yeah this thing did did we ever did it do stuff for us I put oh oh gold and iron that's huge so if you put fuel in this thing it pays off big time but that's fuel we could have otherwise saved for our generator interesting risk reward I'm not sure if the ore regrew but the mushrooms did and so did the bats get out of here I, I wonder if I could grow mushrooms, because this being the only place that I've been able to actually get mushrooms. I should have been coming back here on a weekly basis just to pluck those mushrooms up, because those canned mushrooms, and there's a lot of things you could cook with the mushrooms. And uh, often on trade value. So, learn from my mistakes, you guys. Uh, when you play this game, check out the mine more often than I did. I neglected it quite a lot. I mean, it, it's, it's, but if I was doing the mine, I would have neglected something else in the process. I could have sworn I cleared this area already. Maybe the ore does come back. And if that's the case, yeah, don't neglect. And I, if it does come back, then who cares about that big thing at the top? We could just come back here and uh, mine again. If there's something up here and a bin with something in it. I was for sure here before. So I remember going all the way up and leaving something in a bin. Yeah, if you guys end up focusing on the mine, you end up neglecting something else in the process. So I mean, this game's a balancing act. There it is, yeah. So the, the ore officially does regrow and it probably takes about as long as the trees. like two weeks or something. So I'm definitely going to be revisiting the mines. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to do it once a week and see. So I can kind of gauge how long it takes for the ore to come back. I feel a little bit bad that I missed out on all this. Like mushrooms, ore. But it's also not the end of the world because that iron ore is just steel. And I've been buying plenty of that from Sturge, right? So in, in, in theory, I didn't need the mine because I was mining with basically my trading economy. So my efficient uses of uh, trading and cooking was therefore exchanged for ores. So I, can, I think it kind of works. What the heck? This sucks. I'm... What? This is horrible. I'm gonna have to eat these mushrooms. I, I'm trying to click. Okay. Jeez. That took all my health away. Is he attacking them with the pickaxe? I feel like the pickaxe did more damage. How come I haven't gotten new weapons? It's always the baseball bat. Oh, crap. Oh, mine pass level three. We're gonna get the Geiger counter on mine level three. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, and, and that big machine at the top, I, I was like pretty like, surprised at how much ore and stuff it, it, it mined. But that really doesn't matter. All I put fuel in there, and fuel has been the rarest resource in the game so far, right? And what what's in there? Some gold? What is gold? Gold is exchanged for money. And iron, we can get from Sturges by buying his, his stuff and scrapping it down. So now that I think of it, this isn't really useful to us. Unless, yeah, it's, it's just not useful to us. It just, just eats fuel. Unless you have like a really heavy source of fuel which I feel like the oil we're gonna be like able to mine oil somehow wait did we go down here 
I think, I think this is, yeah, we can't go any further from here. What is this? Ruby? All right, we're not that overweight, but we are st st starving. And it's getting pretty late. All right, let's go home, drop this stuff off. We have a bit of fuel. We're gonna save that for our generator. That was the whole purpose of this. We'll hit up the mine. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll hit up the uh, forest. Do our traps real quick. And uh, we'll go to the mine tomorrow. We might go a little over two hours in this episode. Let's screw it. Is what it is. Let's eat. We gotta cook these turkeys. Oh yeah, the power was out and uh, our food situation. Whoops, I just equipped a turkey. I mean, that's not a terrible idea if you're going to battle stuff. Just got a turkey hanging off my belt. Roasted rat. So we had uh, the power outage, but we didn't lose everything in the fridge. Oh, crap, I need to eat. I mean, cook the rat, I guess. And uh, put that in the smoker. I'm also gonna bring... I should equip energy drinks to me. I wanna experiment with that real quick. Still have a little bit of time left. Where's all this weight coming from? Oh, this crap. Ah, put it in our workbench. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, doesn't that dude buy rubies? Well, we might need them, so I'm gonna hold on to it for now. We don't need the cash rate. I think that the rubies are literally meant for selling. So I have 18 pounds on me. If we go to our inventory and equip this, we now have zero pounds. So we could just wear energy drinks all the time. Oh, and we have a button for it. The one key. Would you look at that? I'm so silly. I'm only figuring this out now? That's the thing about this game, you guys. There's certain things it just doesn't tell you. And I didn't... I When I, I seen these equip slots and I thought to myself, All right, I'm going to get gear later on. Or extra backpack slots. That's what I, it shows a backpack. So I thought it would be like pouches or like, you know, a canteen or, you know, like a, a you know, pouch, like expansions to my carry weight. I thought they were going to be carry weight expansions. And then when I accidentally equipped something, I didn't think, how is that any different than it being in my inventory? It's different because it doesn't weigh anything when it's in that slot and it gives you a hotkey. So I never really experimented with that. And here I am, freaking 20-something hours into the game, just figuring that out. I feel stupid. Um, but again, the game doesn't always explain things. you got to figure them out. So we're learning this together. But now I can literally just push the one key and have my energy back. No more running to the fridge. That's huge. That's really huge. What else can I carry, then? Food? Oh, no, the food will go bad. But I could, yeah, I could carry some dried meat. Of course. The dry, yes. Uh, I'm trying to think. Energy drinks and food. I can't really see anything else being useful. Why would you need four slots? Extra weapons, maybe? Yeah, maybe. 
like a secondary baseball bat. So if I get this right, we have 20 pounds on us. And now we have zero. And for breakfast, I just push two. Oh. Oh my god, that's game changing. Well, I'm really excited about that. Oh no, newspaper. This isn't good. Please don't be a power outage. Okay, no water. I can deal with no water. Big freaking deal. No water. Look at my stack of newspapers. I really gotta move this bin. But once we get our little, like, water system going in the basement, I can move this and I can throw out all these newspapers. <laughs> People were buying them in the video. I, I kind of like hoarding them, though. The uh, inspector doesn't care about the newspapers, apparently. So that's fun. All right, Huntress. Oh, we don't have money. Uh-oh. We actually came to a dead stop with our trades. What can I make with mushrooms? I think those marinated mushrooms are really good. Marinated mushrooms, mushrooms, water, salt, and glass. Crap, we're down to our last glass, too. Well, we'll make one batch of marinated mushrooms. Wait, what am I missing? Water. I think it makes the soup. All right, we need we need to buy glass, but we ran out of money. So you do want to keep this trade system going still. I'm gonna just pull out everything and see how much of this I can get rid of. Do they want to buy beet soup ever? I gotta check that because we have all this canned beet soup. Why don't those turkeys stack? And the eggs didn't go bad over the power outage. The eggs are freaking insane. That's really good. Mm. There's your pate, there's your pickles. Trade, Jenny, no. Yeah, we don't have money. Spent it all. Actually. Because we don't have money, we should go check our traps. That'll give us some instant cash. I'm going to do quick baits. Because we have so many of them. And then that, like, the trap... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, push one. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, that's gonna change everything. And this is what I was saying way, way, way long ago. I said, there's in the beginning, there's so many little things that you have to keep up with that like it consumes a lot of your time. And as you do get further into the game, you know, uh, the energy drinks, having dried food on your bar. I didn't have dried food in the beginning. Um, we need glass and metal. Okay, what what's in here that's glass and metal? We're about to hit the two hour mark here. Metal, plastic, and electronics. Yeah, we weren't able to build all this stuff in the early game. I don't have any glass. But we do need metal so we can make some traps. We're really low on materials actually. I mean, upgrading that bench uh, it was no joke. No joke at all. I think we could sell that ruby. Oh, wait. We could smelt this ore. And sell this gold. Do we have any more ore? Let's get this furnace burning. And how's our... Oh, our generators are about to run out. Smelt. Yeah, we gotta make sure we don't run out of wood, too. Got to keep these generators going. 
All right, let's break some metal down. Making metal, heavy metal. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, bear traps. We can make three bear traps. I'll take it. Ooh, those are traps. And that's what I was saying. These traps take so long to make that you're better off buying them. Because you're just going to use metal that you bought or mined. And then you got to craft them and wait. I mean, it all kind of works out. There's there's ten di there's ten different things there's ten different ways to do one thing in this game and that's what I like. If you enjoy cooking, you can cook to make money. If you enjoy hunting, you can make mo you know do that to um, make money. And you can if you like mining, you can do that to make money. You get all the rubies and the gold and stuff. But I definitely think that the hunting is just unbalanced. Like it's the easiest way, for sure. Um, Let's see if he buys this ruby off of us. He does, 55 bucks and the gold. So that's a little bit of money. That'll help. We got our three traps on us. Do we have any, we have, oh yeah, cash just came in. Uh, does buddy sell traps? He's selling traps. We might actually want to wait till that comes in. And we needed metal. Let's get these barrels. Isn't there something else that I needed? Glass. Let's get these lights. And uh, Bob sells glass. And I think we're good. And obviously, we want to restock on our uh, baits. I'm only going to get the cheaper baits. I'm going to skip on the expensive guys. We're, get, we're getting to the wire here. And we're gonna we're gonna forget about salts and stuff today, so we want to wait until that uh, gets here. So let's see what other metal we can scrap. We can scrap some of this. Let's dismantle a few of these. By the time these are done, our order or shipment should be here. About right. How many baits do we have on us? We have 30, and then the bear traps are coming in. Speed up time. Push one for an energy drink. Freaking love that. Top off our food. We're just gonna take out the baits and the traps. The rest can stay for now. We'll take the cash. I'm gonna deposit these baits. Boom, 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 and off to the forest we go. These quick baits are going to allow us to have basically new animals by morning, I would imagine. Quick set. And this should really help our cash flow. We're going to need the cash flow now just purely buying materials. Uh, but I should be utilizing the forest and get, you know, go through and make sure all I get, I recollect all these fallen trees, re hit up the mine, make sure I get all the. Um, or we have level three. I'm really set on going to the level three mines so that we can find Bob's jacket and the Geiger counter because the Geiger counter will progress our Minutemen quest and that'll open up um, like some something really cool for sure. So much to do and I'm so excited. Like I don't, I, I want to redesign the whole bomb shelter whatever you call it freaking yeah the shelter um, I want to get the the new grow up going but we need these big machinery so we can get our uh, irrigation system going and that's gonna be life-changing I don't even want to grow another single vegetable until the irrigation system set up we have a little bit of time, but I don't think it's enough. What I could do... Am I on level 3? I am. 
just think I could run through level 3 forest and just clear it? Actually, you know, we're at 205. I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Uh, super fun. We did so much stuff. We, we have the workbench that's going to open up new possibilities for us. The irrigation system, the power generator. We're going to get the fuel that we need from the mine. I, I, I strongly believe that. So I really got to focus on the quest from here on out. There's no point in focusing on the garden and fiddling with all this stuff. But we do need to keep the money going. So in other words, the traps, which I'm doing right now. And uh, like, I'm not going to worry about the cooking too much. I'll keep that to a bare minimum and just, I mean, the traps got us to the money zone all on their own. The traps will continue to do so. And uh, that, that should keep the money coming. And then I can, I can s transfer that money into materials like the, the metals that we need, the plastics that we need, the electronics, the textiles. You know, we want that hunter's outfit too if we're going to be still doing all this hunting. Uh, so, like, oh, we're too heavy already. Jeez. And that's it. Like, you got to run back and forth at the forest. It's pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah. We, we have a whole evolution of new things to get. And uh, that's exciting. So, I'm going to keep the, the trade network going through the hunting. And then I think we'll just focus on quests. I didn't even plant the new traps. Well, I'm stupid. I'll do that. Wait, did I empty the traps? It's all blur. It's everything's a blur now. Um, I want to put the logs away. Yeah, I have all this stuff on me. And we want to smoke the berries and the venison. Berries. Oh, whoops. Venison. Although we could freeze that and make pate. I can't wait to get the freezer. That is going to be such a life changer. And then everything like our irrigation systems watering the plants for us. And uh, you know how crazy that's going to be? Because we just pull up all the plants and throw them in the freezer. And then when I go, oh, it's time to do a batch of cooking. Let's just make pickles. Let's make kimchi. Let's make this. Let's make pies. Uh, you know, boom. Like, we're going to be rolling in the food, and I don't have to sit there and go, oh, here's one container of kimchi. Oh, here's one container of pickles. No, we just do them all in one batch. We cook when we're ready to cook, and we cook for an entire day. Wait, these are done already? Those quick baits took seconds. Are you kidding me? And the time it took us to run home and back, it caught stuff. These ones too. Oh, wow. Quick baits are insane. So by the time I set these, they'll be ready in the morning. Jeez, we're going to burn through these quick baits. And I got six new traps on me. I'm going to have so many furs that the hunter won't even know what to do with me. Good googly moogly. I cannot believe this. Well, you learn something new every freaking minute in this game. From equipping our inventory to the fact that quick baits literally only take an hour to catch something of in-game time. These quick baits are going to be ready by morning. I said like 10 minutes ago I'm going to end the episode on here. <laughs> now I'm just compelled to keep playing. And this is the problem. At the time of this recording, the Planet Coaster Shop Contest Live is tomorrow. <laughs> so I probably don't want to keep playing and lose track of time when I got to get up really early tomorrow. Um... I got to get up a few hours, several hours before the, the stream starts because I have a bunch of things to prepare and I need to, you know, get myself ready and clean my office, yada, yada, yada. So, <sighs> can't be up all night playing video games as much as I'd like to keep on preparing. We're going to sell out this Huntress, though. She's going to go bankrupt with us around. <laughs> this is going to be a nice haul. 400. 
That's about our highest record so far. What are these? Tusks. We're gonna get that from the next forest level, I bet. And we're probably sitting on a lot of meat from that now. We need the freezer. That's like priority. I'm like determined now. Like, whatever you guys do when you play this game, rush for Workbench 4. And just get that and then start farming the materials you need for the generator and the irrigation system. Because life is going to be different as a prepper from here on out. It's going to be so chill. Everything's going to be self-watering. We're going to have to worry about stuff rotting anymore. We have the freezers. Like, we just come down, put wood in the, the generators, and uh, transfer a little bit of water around. And do that, like, once a week or something. <laughs> That's awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the, game, the way this game saves... What time is it? 10.30. Yeah. The, this game saves by day. I kind of just want to uh, go empty the traps and run through the forest real quick, and then I'll leave it off there. I won't do any more and lose track of time. I want to continue these episodes with you guys being on this journey with me. This whole situation, we're going to fix it. And for now, we're going to just leave it the way it is. We were on a mission. We got to upgrade the woods so we get the better traps because the traps make us money. And uh, we have a quest to repair the ropeway for level four to get to the airplane, which is going to lead us to something else. But we just got the mine level three key. So now we can go to level three. We're probably going to find Bob's jacket and the Geiger counter there. So I think we need to prioritize things like this. We get the jacket, we get the Geiger counter, we repair the third level forest, then number four. And we try to tackle that all in the next episode, not fussing with any of this. And we're gonna make great progress. I look forward to playing again. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to play next, but um, you guys should have videos until like Monday or something if I'm doing these daily. So, hopefully um, I'm able to play by then to give you guys videos by Monday, Tuesday. Boom. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back to one-hour episodes. Because <laughs> I'm going to run out of content. <laughs> well, if you guys are still enjoying, please do leave a like, leave a comment, all that stuff. I appreciate it. Um, maybe I need to really space these out, but I try to spoil you guys. Try to get them up. Because uh, I just figured I'm playing the game. Um... And uh, I want to get through it. We have a sad little base. It's empty. It's depressing. I could probably even just turn these generators off. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.